Hello, welcome to this again. So, the Raspberry Pi. It is simply just a very small computer that's meant to run Linux and to be used in things that need a very small Linux computer in them. I mean, these things come in all sorts of variations, like this is just the Raspberry Pi 5, this is the uh, earlier Raspberry Pi 3B, there's the Raspberry Pi Pico, which you can just buy in sheets for like five bucks each. These are for an upcoming project, by the way. Subscribe so you don't miss it. But these all run on ARM-based processors, which is basically the, the processor that your phone runs on. And for the longest time, you just could not run Windows on these things. It was just Linux only. But lately, laptop Tops with ARM-based processors have been getting a lot more popular, which means Microsoft has been developing Windows for ARM-based processors, so theoretically, you should be able to install Windows on this thing. I mean, it's, it's got a processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, it might not run well, but I mean, I want to give it a shot, so yeah. Well, I'm going to try installing Windows on a, on a, on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> right, I've got the Raspberry Pi down there, it's connected to a monitor, keyboard, mouse, all that. I have the Windows 11 ARM-based installer here on the USB stick, and if I, you know, click the handy-dandy power button, it might just turn on. <laughs> Alright, it's trying to boot USB. Oh. Oh. I saw some unable to read partition errors, I think. And I really should have bought a heatsink for this thing, but, uh... I'm just gonna hope it doesn't blow up. Unable to read partition is fat. It's unable to read the partitions, apparently. Which is strange, but, uh... Oh! Okay, so, um, looking at a guide, the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 4 just needs a micro SD card, but on the Raspberry Pi 5, you need to copy some files to the SD card, and then you need to put the actual operating system on a USB device, which is, uh, a little problematic because, uh, you know, slow ass usb stick <laughs> i do have you know some sata ssds and a sata to usb adapter that i could use probably so uh, i think i'm gonna do that so uh, i'm gonna move over to my computer to get all that set up all right after doing a bit of research it seems this entire thing basically relies on this program called windows on raspberry uh problem is it hasn't been updated since like 2022 so the method of getting it to work on you know raspberry pi 5 is a little hacky but yeah so, yep i want english and then this is my ssd connected through usb and then instead of choosing the raspberry pi 4 you actually want to choose the raspberry pi 3 because apparently it causes an error when you're when you do the Raspberry Pi 4, so. All right, I have the Windows 11 ARM ISO right here. Well, that's awesome. All right, after a lot of trouble with getting, you know, downloads working and, you know, this thing not liking any of my ISOs, I've had to go with an older version of Windows 10 for ARM 64. Hopefully it works. We'll, we'll see. Uh, sure. All right, and then I just click install. All right, and it seems we're, we're going, so I think I can just move this off to the side and, you know, move on to the next step, which is installing the firmware onto an SD card. All right, so apparently I just download this from the GitHub, and then I can just do that, and that's that step finished, and, you know, this isn't done yet, so. Okay, so it's installing drivers, and something I probably should have done I don't know if it's possible or not, but getting this thing on internet is really annoying. You're supposed to, like, use Android to tether your Wi-Fi connection, but my phone uh, really doesn't like to do that. And I have this, you know, USB Wi-Fi adapter that would make things a whole lot more convenient. I'm pretty sure it just needs the driver, though. I'll try it anyway without doing anything because the installation's finished. So, I guess I'll uh, head back over to the Raspberry Pi and see if I can actually get this thing installed. Alright, we're back over here, there's the Raspberry Pi, there's my silly Wi-Fi adapter, there's the SSD. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just see, we're, we're just gonna see if it works. Oh, I think it's doing stuff. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, nice, we're actually booting, finally. Oh, it restarted. Oh, alright. So we're now in the proper Windows 10 setup, and my mouse is uh, not working. Hey, we have a mouse now. Yep, United States. Will it be able to connect to the internet? Probably not. Judging by the fact that there's there's nothing here, I don't I don't think it's gonna, yeah. I don't have internet? Uh, limited setup, please. Let me just do it offline. No, I'm good. Hello. Okay, you do you, Microsoft. Nice. Hey, all right, yeah, it's, it's, it just kind of works. I'm in test mode, which makes sense, but yeah, it just works. All right, now I just got to figure out how in the world am I going to get, you know, internet working on this thing? I'll be right back once I have a solution for internet. All right, so the Wi-Fi adapter didn't work, but surprisingly, the uh, USB tether through my phone did. So we are now online, and we now have, you know, Firefox. 
So yeah, we have Firefox. But I want to know, you know, how well can this thing actually work as a Windows 10 PC? Also known as, I'm just gonna play a bunch of games on it. And uh, already I can tell, uh, that might not go so well. <laughs> Give me Steam. Does Steam even run on Windows for ARM? Honestly, probably the most intense game I'm gonna be able to run on this thing is like Stardew Valley or something. And is it gonna overheat and destroy itself before I can even open a game? All right, Steam is working, it seems. I've got all the funny games here. Can I like sort by games that can actually be played on this hardware? Does Geometry Dash work? No. Oh, the game you are installing requires a 64-bit version of Windows, then why didn't you tell me that before letting me install it? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna take a little while and just see how much stuff I can get installed on this thing, and I'll be back once I have a solid, you know, list. Alright, I basically just looked through the games that it would at least let me download, and just clicked the ones that, you know, seemed neat, like, uh, Peggle. This game has run on, I'm pretty sure, every single thing I've tried to run it on so far. Oh my god, it's running worse than the Windows 98 PC. Oh no. <laughs> okay, hold on. Disable 3D acceleration, maybe. Oh! Well, direct draw does not work. Okay. And the game crashed. I guess we're sticking to acceleration. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the worst I've ever seen this game run. And I don't know if it's the Pi's fault or if it's the fact that Windows specifically is running on the Pi. Probably the latter. I'm sure if you ran this game on Linux running on the Pi, it would run great, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm also sucking at the game really badly. Bonk. Insert Ode to Joy here, but also, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we're running at, like, 3 FPS. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know, Undertale? We can't do any better than Peggle, so, I mean, uh, I mean, right now this looks like it's running fine-ish. Oh, yeah, it, it, okay, I'm, it, it's stuttering a little bit, but, I mean... Probably because Peggle was trying to use, you know, 3D acceleration for some reason. I have an idea. Alright. Aw, oh, hell yeah. I mean, it's definitely not running, like, you know, consistent 60 FPS. You can, you can see that it's just kind of slowing down sometimes, but I mean, I guess it's playable. Wait, oh, I'm a f***ing idiot. <laughs> I t I'm, I'm getting, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 okay, yeah, I, I've got no excuse for that one. I was just on autopilot, and for some reason I thought spare was the correct option. Anyways, A Dance of Fire and Ice, uh, is a rhythm game, and I have no audio. So, that... <laughs> Mission in Snowdrift Land's kind of a neat game. Never mind. Stardew Valley's a neat game. Oh, well, um, yeah, moral of the story, um, if you need a Windows PC for about a hundred dollars, please, for the love of God, don't buy a Raspberry Pi 5. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have some to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe and thank you to my channel members. We start Cool Gamer, Andy, Divine, Opel, Justin, Thom, Lego, Motorola, Nolan, Jasso, Katsume, Tyler, Kleiner, Rollpog, The Penguin, Thunder, Keetle, Nathan, Cube, Nixie, Mado, Rashid, Flapjacks, Orson, Planet, Saul, Jason, Ben, Butterdog, Surfing, Pikachu, Maya, Superdev, Skyblocker, Joel, Highway, Will, TH, Henry, Darman, BD, Michael, Vietnamese, Cat, JB, God forbid, Redbox, T Breeze, Figgy, Zachary, TNT, Water, Boki, Mr. Muffin, M Bar, Netlist, Teletales, 4K, LGTV, Chernobyl, Dweller, Midnight Wave, Erky, Celestia, Helen, Ho, FD, Pi, Kim, Normal, Roblox, Player, J, Tomas, and I, Marisa,